that better? No. I'll do that better. Who knows? Okay. and change the date in here and then write in anything that I want to change. I know, I know, I still owe you guys a kitchen video, which I will do very soon, but let's just run through what we got we here. are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah, a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Friends, it's Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education lifestyle. Y'all, today I made my list. I made my coffee. I just tried um, cold brew for the first time from a company called Black and Bold, and I really like it. I used an almond milk creamer that I think is growing on me. I made my checklist of things that I want to get done today. First things first, I wanted to start this vlog, so we're vlogging. You guys are spending the day with me today. Anyway, the clouds are going in and out, so y'all are just gonna have to let that be that. Okay, so today, gonna be trying to get it all done, okay? Um, the first thing I wanna do is get in like 15 minutes of my planner time. <laughs> Hi. Come say hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna make a grocery order to pick up groceries. I like to do it on Thursday and today is a Thursday. I just feel like that is a sweet spot, in my opinion, to pick up groceries on Thursday. Are they clean? Yep. Y'all, doesn't Kendall look so super handsome with his glasses? <laughs> he looks so cute. That's so shiny now. After we finish the grocery order, what was I saying? Okay, so. I basically like to do groceries on Thursday so that Friday we can spend the day like meal prepping. And then that way when I go into the weekend, I can really like relax because we would have already gotten all of those things together. Just the Sunday scaries are real and I really wanted um, Sunday to be our Sabbath day of rest. And so the best way that we get that done is to do our prep starting Thursday into Friday. So. That's what we're doing there. Uh, then I wanna try to sit down and see if I can film two videos. One, a curriculum and resource haul, and then the other one, why um, digital homeschool. So I'm not even gonna bother with trying to put on different clothes or do different hair. When y'all see those videos and she looks the same, you know why, okay? The point is to get it out there um, for anybody who is curious and for my documentation purposes. Uh, just yeah that is the goal is to film those two videos then I want to finish up their badges uh, this year I wanted them to have ID badges I had this idea for a very long time I just haven't executed it as well so we've always had a mission statement um, and this year with it being gap year and I still have to update you about that <laughs> okay uh, I wanted to make sure that as we are out and about, the kids had something that was kind of like a talking point or a conversation starter for them. So I wanted them to have ID badges with a little QR code that links to their resumes on our website. So that's what I want to finish up today. I'm going to have to complete those ID badges and then also complete their resumes, which are going to house like some of their goals and some of their links to different platforms that they use, like for coding and things like that. So. I do want to try to make some headway there. I don't know if I'm going to finish it today, but I would like to. So we will see if we can get that done today. Next thing I want to do is fill in our homeschool planner goals and projects. So I printed out um, a little quick version of our planner. You guys know that I keep that on my iPad, but I did want to have a physical version that I could kind of like... Um, give to Brian so that he can stay on track and keep up with all the things. So it's kind of like his version of our homeschool plan for the year. Um, so I just want to make sure that I have updated that planner with the kids' goals because as they um, let me know some goals that they have for the year throughout our days, I like to update those spaces to make sure that I'm accounting for the projects and the goals that we want. Um, or that we have set and that we want to try to work our way towards accomplishing. So the next thing I need to do is just kind of write out a rough plan for our field trip 
or our tour date this month. And I also need to, y'all know those 36 glorious weeks of school that I actually planned out this year. I don't know if I've talked about that on here. I did mention it on Instagram. Maybe I didn't share that on here. I don't know. If I didn't, let me know. If I didn't, let me know and I'll try to see if I can just sit down and talk about that really quickly. But I basically planned out my 36 weeks of school, which I've never done in this way before I always just document like I document what we do and that's always been the way I've done it from time to time I will kind of like map out a week mainly a think week or a unit study that type of deal but I've never done it this way before so um, I did do it this year of course I did it in my device and now I just wanted to go ahead for the week coming and print that out so I can include that in the kids binders um, so I'm gonna do that and then the next thing we're gonna do is just take a few minutes to update our daily slides. I think I would have shown you that already by now. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up somewhere and in the description box so you can see how I kind of pulled together daily slides um, this year to make it easier for the kids to kind of answer the what's next um, question throughout their day. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is freshen up our chalkboard slash memo boards. Um, Y'all know that it was kind of like sad.com, okay, for me to get rid of our chalk wall. I really loved our chalk wall, but it wasn't really serving us in the same way anymore. And even though I got rid of it here, um, I really just think it is so beneficial to have things posted up all around just for them to reference, to look at, to meditate on. So I just think it's always a win when you can get stuff posted up around in the spaces that they're going to frequent. Even though I do not have a chalk wall anymore, I do have a bulletin board here. I have a chalk easel slash whiteboard, you know, one on each side here. I have a chalk space that's underneath Savannah's Market. Um, I have like an acrylic memo board. Um, over here to my left near their book bags. I have another acrylic memo board, a small one that sits over in the corner near Cameron's desk. And then I also grabbed um, some, some magnet letters for the refrigerator and a little memo space that's underneath our acrylic calendar that's on the refrigerator. And then y'all know I have another memo board in Savannah's room and a chalk wall in the boys' room. So, <laughs> Even though I don't have the chalkboard right here, I still have plenty of spaces that I can post up different things. So I pretty much like to put like diagrams or um, just things that I want them to remember, kind of like you would a flash card or anything that you want them to be able to study. I post up like vocabulary words, timelines, yeah, diagrams, those types of things. I really need to sit down and decide what I wanna put up first and just go ahead and get that like at least sketched out, but hopefully all the way up into the spaces that I want them to be in. I also have a little acrylic, I think you can see it right in this corner here. It's not acrylic, it's plastic. A little plastic like note card holder that I posted or hung right underneath the sign shelves over here. I went ahead and purchased another one so I could fill up this entire space under here. Um, and be able to just kind of, they're like little pocket chart holders for, yeah. They hold little um, four by six note cards and I have all different types of note cards, uh, like dotted note cards, lined note cards, blank note cards, and then I have these whiteboard type of note cards. Um, but I think these are gonna be great this year to like map out storyboards or whatever projects we're working on, just to make it easy for us to work through them and be like a constant reminder. I wanted to, because we get so much stuff done inside of our digital notebooks, one of the cons to a digital notebook is that because it's inside of the device, oftentimes you don't have something like present on the outside to remind you of things that are going on. So this is kind of my solution. These types of things are my solution to that issue or that con that comes with living this digital homeschool life. So um, I want to get some things onto these postcards um, so that we can just tuck them away right in this holder and then I still need to get like um, an organizer, like a little box organizer to be able to keep uh, a stash of the note cards and like 
pull them out and put them up and take them down and put them up and take them down so i like how that's turning out over here and hopefully i will get a plan for what i'm going to get up there anyway that's my sign to stop talking and just get things done let me see so this is what he is currently working on pulling apart all my stuff all around the house <laughs> but that's okay i only use the stuff, stuff you anyway. guys want to throw away. i know i know i know he's a reuse and recycle type of kid okay zero waste so that's another thing i need to do i do want to refresh his engineering wall um the maker space that we kind of created for him for his birthday i need to my goal really is just to post up some good resources, printouts, whatever that might help him as he's moving along to build and create. So I do need to go in there and like refresh. I got him some extra containers and I wanna just go and look at what he's low on, any cardboard, any batteries, um, any of those types of things that he might need um or might be helpful to him while he is building so i do want to do that too but i just don't know that i'm going to get to that today but we're going to try we're going to see what we can get accomplished my stuff out here to my office space so I can finish up. I got the grocery order done and now I am moving on to printing out um, next week's checklist. I've really tried to plan as flexibly as possible and even though I'm kind of freaking out inside every time something changes and I realize I have to go in and like adjust <laughs> things inside of the planner that I spent so much time filling in. Um, I think it's gonna be okay. I think the best part about planning digitally is that it just makes it really, really easy for me to make adjustments before I print things out or even after I print things out. So what I wanna do, go into my weekly plan and print it out for the kids so that they have a checklist for this coming week. And then if I make any adjustments based on what we actually get done, I just need to go into my device and change it there because the physical copy is not really what I'm going to be holding on to. The digital copy is what I'm going to be using for my records. I hope that makes sense, but it makes sense in my head. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. Um, I just want to go into my digital copy that I spent all that time planning and get it printed out. I was just looking for pieces of cardboard for <laughs> five. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Okay, so Savannah is in charge of one of our writing projects. So this, so this is how it goes. This year we have three main writing projects that we want to try to put our hands to. And each of the kids is responsible or like the head or the director over each of their writing projects. So Cameron's writing project is going to be the yearbook. And it's perfect because it's his gap year. So he is really, it's too bright. So he's really going to be... I know he's really going to be the director of the yearbook project and the actual physical yearbook that he is going to be adding to throughout the year should come in today so he's got the yearbook kendall has this year's newspaper he is going to be the director over the newspaper this year and then savannah is doing friday night live so friday night live is basically like our little sacred family time where we take the writings throughout the week and we turn them into public speaking practice type of deal so she is going to be in charge of making that fun and magical so she's going through all the things trying to figure out how she's going to set it up how it's going to be scheduled and that's what she's doing right now so she's got all the ideas and she's been telling me all along the way so 
<laughs> anyway, let's get some stuff done. Right. So that binder I showed you guys that has my little kind of resource curriculum type of things in it. I grabbed that and then of course I grabbed my um, iPad so that I could look in our notability and figure out what we have planned for this week. Um, yeah, so I just want to have this at my fingertips so I can grab anything that I need. Whether it's like a test booklet, an answer key, um, a little my grammar book I wanted to have on deck and then this is like any teachers pay this is like any teachers pay teachers type of things or for other printouts slash curriculum resource type of things I just kind of keep in my big old teacher type binder so I'm gonna go ahead in here and adjust anything that I feel like really needs to be changed just kind of like erasing some of the starting points that I listed because um, we are kind of behind a week I don't want to say behind because it's perfectly fine but this is the way that I count out my days like my school days I count them out in these little circles up here I hope that you can see that and then um, I do need to change the date because we were supposed to completely jump in this week but we didn't end up doing that we did more of like a let's get used to it all type of deal type of week um, so I'm going to just go ahead and adjust the date that's really the only thing I'm going to change because everything else I can just come in here and adjust after we have actually documented what we did this week so I'm just going to make that small adjustment and then I'm going to print it out and put it in each of their binders so they have a reference point for what we are getting done. I feel like that was still really bright. I haven't found a sweet spot for where you guys can see <laughs> when I'm filming. But anyway, that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to change the date on here and then I'm going to just go ahead and get this printed out on the back page of their checklist so I can put it into their binders. All right, so the next thing I wanna do now that everything is printed out is I want to go ahead and adjust their daily slides for the start of the week. So this should be fairly simple. I'm very excited about this. I feel like this is when your hard work pays off and things just become easy. So I'm literally just gonna go and change the date in here and then write in any thing that I wanna change, which mainly it kind of shouldn't. I might need to update um, one of the books or something like that. And um, I might need to update a book because I think that Cameron finished this book early, um, but I don't think that I have too much that I need to change. If you guys have not seen the video about how I pull together our daily slides, I will link that. I basically just go in here and like I said, change out the date, add any announcements, reminders, that type of deal, and then mainly go in and maybe switch out the projects or the labs. Um, I'll go in and write anything that needs to be in the specials, but that's what I'm about to do right now. Just kind of breeze through this so that it's ready and prepped for the beginning of the week. Also, I did bring my mirror out here because I have found that it makes a lot of sense for me to bring my little makeup kit, makeup bag or whatever, and put on my lip gloss and whatever I need to do while I am out here getting ready to get my work done in the morning. It has been like so good for me anyway also i need to see myself i put like a full length mirror in the house um that used to be out here and then i moved this mirror here because your girl just gets super comfortable in her sweats which is fine but when i take a little time to do a little something extra with myself i tend to be a lot more productive so we're trying to go with that in this season okay All right, we just got our package in. I'm excited. Okay. It's yearbook time. I'll take it all the way out and show you yes, what it yes. looks like. Oh
friends it has been a day <laughs> okay I thought I was gonna get the most done and I did make progress but I didn't get everything done on my list what I have started doing fun fact is that Brian is so much better being realistic about get the way I get things done so typically when I write out my list I hand it over to Brian and then he's able to like make a real list out of things so that's what I did today and I pretty much got accomplished what he said I was gonna be able to get <laughs> accomplished so I didn't get to film today and that was kind of all everything else I did get accomplished I got our slides updated I got our goals written in I got our grocery order taken care of our meals updated now I just have to put some stuff away get dinner done and then move on to the next day so we're just going to move the rest of the things that I want to get done to the next day and we're gonna try and try again okay so it's never been done before <laughs> y'all know I am not the kind to do a grocery haul but um, I always get asked so I figured that since Brian did pick up the groceries let's just go ahead and show you what I got we keep it super simple around here I only got he only got to pick up the Aldi order um, and then we have a wholesale order a BJ's order that he is going to pick up tomorrow so maybe I'll show you what's in that if I film tomorrow friends but let me just show you really quickly what we get pretty much almost every time and then we add a few things here and there I know I know I still owe you guys a kitchen video which I will do very soon but let's just run through what we have here I've got eggs. I have Greek yogurt. I have lots of cheese, of sharp cheddar cheese. I have mozzarella and vegan cheddar cheese for Kendall because he doesn't do dairy. We have cream cheese. I have turkey breast and sharp deli slices. I have non flatbread, garlic flatbread. I have spinach wraps, garlic knots, um, avocados, lime, oranges, strawberries blueberries I think this is strawberry jam and maybe blackberry jam I have some low sodium soy sauce some blue corn chips some organic cucumbers some Brussels sprouts I got two of these wild wonder tomatoes I really like I really like these um, I've got some more tomatoes here I have some uh, red yellow and orange <laughs> bell pepper green bell pepper two packs of that i have green onion we go through these so much i really need to figure out how to grow them anyway um i've got a bag of kale i have some everything bagels and some brioche buns over here and then over here i have two things of rolled oats i have some penne i have um, some flour tortillas the larger ones and the smaller ones I have some organic tomato basil pasta sauce some Parmesan cheese some unsweetened applesauce two things of olive oil spray and some organic olive oil um, olives some honey for tea time because that is necessary and then two things of marshmallows because fall okay so <laughs> that's pretty much what we got that is my little grocery my grocery haul you're welcome <laughs> hopefully I can get to bed at a decent hour tonight get some good rest and then I can wake up in the morning have my me time my morning routine and actually sit down and film those two videos that I wanted to film Savannah has soccer practice tonight so I'm gonna hang out with the boys tonight talk a little bit about what we want to do to update the maker lab in Cameron and Kendall's room Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.